Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. It is currently, looks like about 8 p.m., either that or it's 8 a.m. and very dark. We are a little bit hungry, so let's grab a floor sausage, and let's get back to the car. And today is tuning day, so I have the guide here. I'm going to try to follow, I open the door. I'm going to try to follow this tuning guide here. And first up on the tuning guide is the uh, carburetor. Yeah, our, our windshield is uh, pretty much gone, so we'll have to uh, fix that once we get there. But let's pop, let's pop the hood, grab the hood lock, pop that open. Open the hood and our carburetor is right here, so the first step it says is to unscrew the idle screw about 20 times before starting the car. So let's open up our toolbox here. Looks like our oil and our brake fluid didn't sit correctly, but we need to grab our screwdriver. And the idle screw is right below the carburetor here. If I can just squat enough to get there. There it is. We need to unscrew that. 10 to 20 times. All right, idle screw is open. Now we will start the car and it says we need to uh, pull the, let's see, pull the choke all the way out. So once we get inside, we will enter driving mode here and pull the choke, which is right over here, all the way out and start the car. Ignition sequence start. And then it's just a matter of getting the engine temperature um, up in its optimum running temperature here, which should be about halfway. Uh, it recommends going three to 5,000 RPM. So I will go ahead and get this engine warmed up and ready to go. And I will be back with you when we are at prime running condition. All right, well, our engine is nice and warmed up. It says release the choke by right clicking it in. Choke is in, we are at temperature, and now we uh, can check our our exhaust color. And that seems to be uh, the way to open the door. That seems to be the way to tell uh, what we are running. It looks kind of dark there if I have to say so myself, but we can pull on our throttle linkage at the carburetor to really look back and see. And that indeed does sound like it's missing, it's dark. So dark smoke means we are running too rich, popping and cracking uh, means we are running too lean. Let's check our engine temperature here. It says our temperature should be steadily rising if we are running too lean. So I don't believe we are too lean looking at the gauge. Let's go ahead and give the screw a couple more turns. We definitely don't want to overdo it for sure. There we go, now the smoke has changed color. You know, I don't wanna overdo it, so I believe this is where we will leave it. Um, so now we need to adjust our valve train here. Now that we are at temperature, we need to uh, take the uh, valve cover off.
All right, the rocker cover is off, and according to the tuning guide, um, these need to be running as loose as possible without ticking. So we'll be listening for a ticking noise whenever we start uh, locking these screws down here. There's that one. All right, valves are all set. Um, they are just above the ticking threshold, so it looks like we can uh, put our rocker cover back on. And then the next step would be uh, the alternator here uh, to where we basically um, have to loosen it up and then get it just to the point where the squeaking goes away, and that is where our ideal tightening should be. Let's go ahead and unscrew the alternator. All right, radiator hose is back in. I was trying to pull out the uh, the alternator and it ended up clicking on the radiator hose and ripping that off, which is obviously not ideal what we would like to do. As a matter of fact, I don't think we need to be in the pit anymore. So let's open up our garage. We'll move the tractor out of the way so we don't back into the thing and then we will pull our car out into the driveway. in neutral, handbrake on. All right, now let's see if we can adjust our alternator as such. And there we go, took some fine finagling, but we did indeed get it. Now let's grab our radiator hose. And let us replace the radiator hose before we blow the engine up. All right, radiator hose back on. Looks like we've got uh, our engine together. Now we just need to replace the rocker cover, put on the air filter, and we should be good to go. All right, rocker cover is back on and it probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, to see how our oil level is doing. Um, with all of this part swapping and replacement, I don't know if the fluids are sort of drained after that or not. So let's get back to some oil. Yeah, it seemed to be uh, leaking a lot of oil here, unfortunately. That's why we bought many, many, many bottles. There we go. Oil cap back on. And I do know that because our coolant was probably uh, 
our coolant was used up, we'll grab some coolant, and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to take a fresh bottle of oil and coolant out with us, just in case uh, it does start to overheat or something, we'll have plenty of coolant and oil to, uh, to fix it. Oh yeah, this thing was completely empty on coolant. I am glad I checked. Because I figure with that hose coming off, any coolant that was in there would just squirt around and that would be the end of our journey. Probably wouldn't be bad to also top it off with some fuel before we make the grand journey uh, to town. All right, empty coolant. Toss that over there. Uh, we did have another coolant bottle in our van. No, that's right, I'm, I, I moved him over here. I'm an idiot. Let's grab another coolant bottle. Top her off. Probably not good to add coolant um, with the cap off. Is this thing overheating? All right, so we are running a little hot, but the temperature is going back down. Now, it did say if our carburetor is in tune correctly, and it is, uh, and if it's leaking fluid, then we may need to tighten up our idle mixture. But with the sealed system, the temperature is going back down. It would definitely not hurt to take this coolant with us. Let's open up our boot lid. Let's open up our boot lid. Throw a bottle of coolant in there and a new bottle of oil. Maybe even some brake fluid while we are at it. Certainly wouldn't hurt. And then we will be ready to journey off into the great unknown where we will get our car inspected. We're going to fail because of our windshield. Maybe, I, I was reading up, and maybe it's at the uh, the junkyard that we can get a windshield for this bad boy. Grab our last brake fluid here. All right. And the toolkit, why not? You can never be too careful um, when it comes to tools. We definitely need our toolbox just in case something goes a bit pear-shaped. All right, we're all set. Um, and I believe, well, we need to put on our air filter as well. I'm all over the place today. All right, so let's grab our air filter. Oh geez, we are thirsty. I wasn't even taking a look at ourselves. All right, before we forget and before we die, it'll be a good idea to get some faucet water. Excellent. Now we just need to tighten up the bolts on the air filter, which I believe were kind of small. If I remember correctly, I don't actually have the, the screw size in front of me here. All right, that's not it. All right, were there three bolts on the air filter or just two? I believe just two. All right. So that appears to be um, all set. Let's actually, uh, in this next section, we'll get ready to take this thing out for a quick test drive to the road and back and see what's up. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, parking brake. I am an idiot. Around the van. And let's just head up the road. And we are driving. The alignment is just a touch off, it seems. We'll have to go to an actual uh, straight bit of road, probably the runway, to tweak our alignment. It seems to want to pull. All right, so we only have four gears. It's tough to say, but we are running. But the way this wheel looks, it looks that it'll want to pull to the left. Like this is the neutral on the wheel, and it's sort of pulling to the right there, as you can see. So, yeah, nice shakedown. Let's uh, turn back around, let's head home, and then in the next episode, we will actually, uh, well, after killing the car, We'll actually get this thing inspected and see how we are doing. So that is going to do it for me and this episode, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of flailing about like an idiot, but that's going to do it. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold and are enjoying the My Summer Car series. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and take care.